Guys, we're going to talk about leaving today. Just have a look at the build and explore leaving really. So with leaving, obviously, it is a bit trickier as well. Um, I have seen a lot of players obviously go with certain build that are nice and uh, good build. Don't get me wrong, obviously, it, it does require a Genji or even a Tracer or even Illid and anyone that has close range to finish him off. Um, you guessed it. This is gonna be a, like a blow up uh, build, uh, but I've seen a lot of players do do go with a d different build regarding this, um, especially with the the E build as well. So they do normally go with the E build. Basically, you're the you're the person that just goes in. She you know uses the shield, uses the missiles from uh, uh, your abilities, and then obviously just wreck wrecking it. So here what we're gonna do is go with this for for leaming for the ball build, um, which obviously does give you thirty percent, thirty five percent more mana. Why below hundred percent you do get the mana re regeneration. Um, also at the same time you do get spell armor and reducing uh, the damage taken to a next ability by fifty percent. This is one charge per cast and stores up to four charges, which is kind of nice. Um, then again, you will actually go with the ball build. You could go for this depending on what you went on the first one. If you went to the E, then it just makes sense. Uh, uh, don't get me wrong, it is a nice talent E build, especially if you're doing a, like a close quarter damage. So, um, I've seen a lot of players obviously that do take down or restore, scroll 30% of the leaving missing health, which is kind of nice. but. Going with this, if uh, the ball goes, he reaches the uh, travel at 50% of the base range, the cooldown is reduced by five, 5 seconds, 40 uh, mana is refunded as well. So many times over, obviously, I've noticed, obviously, you could really do a hell of a lot of damage, uh, but it just requires, um, it's a lot of poke damage, basically. If you, if you were to go with this build, it's a lot of poke damage. At the same time, it requires a front laner to know that, so you're going to go ball bit, that's fair play, but... You need to finish off because that's how he, that's the, how this build is. Unfortunately, even though I've seen certain certain situations where you can finish it off uh, enemy heroes, but once they are like tiny bit of health or they tend to ret retreat, this doesn't uh, hold value then because obviously you're missing the opportunity to kill them off. Um, I feel like the you allies, one of your allies, need to know that obviously you're going board build, and obviously as a result, you, you know you need they need to finish them off. Um, assassin melee close it would be nice. Um, again, you, damage increased by distance traveled at least by 30%. Additionally, reduce the cooldown by one second. So keep in mind, you are literally annihilating them. If you are, if if you do this right, you can just throw balls at ball at them again and again and again. So it is kind of crazy. Um, I've done that so many times uh, with gleaming. Again. If you can't finish them off, then this makes sense to actually go with. Uh, again, it's situational, depending on uh, you know what the enemy picks. So you could knock a certain ability like ETC, much you can render his, uh, or even uh, doing Edwin, if I'm saying it properly, when he does his healing. I mean, he's stationary, obviously, as healing, he heals the allies, so he can disrupt that. Um, there's so there's many situations you can disrupt certain things, but this one to finish certain long distance, you know, if you're long distance, obviously, shooting them, obviously, then this will actually fill them up finish them off in that kind of regard um again this will you would want the spell power so spell power by 20 percent but to decrease your health by 15 so if you're going ball build then obviously you are not gonna get hit as much i've now come across where i'm getting hit a lot um even though if i go glass cannon with the ball build which is kind of nice I love the ball build i don't know why i just, I just love the idea of just blowing them up again this 25 percent further if you you can increase the orb 25 for the increase in the maximum distance damage bonus for 270 to do 371 it's kind of it skills and it does a lot of damage i can't, I can't even believe that it sometimes when uh it does it does thing basically especially if you're hitting by the end of the ball build it's kind of insane this is again this is uh, where you're gonna pick with this and then obviously as a result get some uh, damage up up to 20% of this bonus reset when the ability you use it within the chain so keep that in mind so obviously you'll have to just uh, rotate your skills and uh, try to use that and try to get the maximum out of the bold build um, which is kind of nice so yeah but other than that you would actually go for this or you would even go for this um, 
So you would actually go do that teleport deal damage increase or you could actually go for that as well so it's really but and there you have this is the build that you would normally go for um going in and uh um doing damage at the same time so this is kind of nice so yeah, as you can see i'm actually going all the teleport build and in a certain situation also you can go uh for extra umt with the missiles as well fire extra missiles so increasing mining cost as well so keep that in mind so so teleport ground shield you could 25% again <clears throat> it's either this one or you're gonna go for the level four so you have a choice uh, correct health or shield um to get the damage so equally it's up to you yourself or how you want to go about it how you want to play you want to play like you take down enemies and then you get health or you're gonna play like uh, shield so this way you can opt out for other abilities or other talents but it really depends on the situ situation. If you think that you're getting ganked a lot, then it makes sense to go for that and this will actually help you a lot um, for survivability. And then again, you would actually go for this, this, or even this, you know, there's a situational builds. But other than that, thank you for watching. Do subscribe and like our videos. Adios.